All right, Brandon Land here with Runner's Feed, with Runner's Feed Uncut. Our first episode, I'm here with Lanny Marchand, one of Canada's toughest runners and my hometown chum, who recently represented Canada in Japan and is fresh off two wins in February. Uh, we'll get back to those races in a minute, but uh, if you could tell us what it was like growing up with six siblings. I had one and found that exhausting, so. Um, it was pretty crazy at times. Uh, the first five of us are fairly close in age, so... I don't know how my mom handled it because we are pretty wild. Um, kind of settled down, I guess, for the last two, but yeah. definite craziness, competitiveness. That's kind of how um, my I got into running was my younger sister kind of started before me, and I kind of stole that from her, I guess. Nice. So you're, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're the only one still running, right? Uh, yeah. My One of my younger sisters runs um, for Detroit Mercy. Oh, okay. Uh, she's in school there. She well, she's trying to run. She keeps getting injured. Doesn't fall too far from. Sounds like the Marchand curse, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Training with you the, I know, a few years ago, I know you're probably one of the world's best uh, pool runners or aqua joggers. But um, you've been re recently pretty healthy for the last little while. Is there anything you would attribute that to? Um, I switched up how I cross train. Like I used when I was down here in Tennessee. We were in the pool a lot, and then we'd, we'd swim or aqua jog every morning and then run every afternoon. Yeah. Um, and we didn't really focus a lot on actual strength work. Like, we were always told to do our abs and stretch, but aside from that, there wasn't a lot of focus on uh, core conditioning and strength work. Mainly, I think, because Coach thought we got a lot of that from the pool, which I'm sure we did. But towards my last couple years down here, and then since I've been in law school, I've really focused on getting a trainer when my finances allow it, um, and getting into the gym at least once a week and have someone just kick my butt all over the place doing squats, going back to my figure skating background and doing a lot of plyometric work. I just think it's kind of balanced out my muscle structure a lot better. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned UT. You were at Chattanooga. Um, yeah. Can you talk about that experience a little bit? Um, I loved it down here. I'm down here right now for spring break, actually. Um it was probably some of the best and some of the worst experiences. I was never hurt in high school, and then I was hurt all the time down here. Uh, but again, I think that was more due to my own body and my own uh, muscle imbalances coming in from a skating background, having insanely strong quads and some weak hamstrings. And yeah. um, the atmosphere down here was great. I really I miss being on a team, and I know that there's. Different, different, differing opinions on staying in Canada or coming to the U.S. And I think it's each person's own decision and lifestyle. For me, it was a great fit. And if I'm going to do everything I can to come back down here to China, it'll work. So. Fair enough. So, uh, I guess for some of our runners who live in the sun all year round, could you? You were in Michigan all winter, right? Yes. Um, could you tell us a little bit about running through winter after being in the south for a little while? Um. Well, when I first finished down here in Tennessee, I went up to Ottawa to start law school, and that was probably the worst shock to my system ever in my life. Um, I became a fair weather runner in Ottawa, where I only ran in the warm weather, and then in the winters, I was on stationary bikes or doing whatever weird classes at the gym I could find. Uh, running in Michigan the last two years has been uh, quite a bit better. There's... I don't know if it's just that I've toughened up a bit and gotten used to the northern winters again, but I was able to get outside. My goal this winter was to run more than I didn't, um, and I met that goal. I ran almost every day this winter. Uh, there was a couple days where I went out and went to the pool or would at least get in on the treadmill for a couple miles and call it a day, but uh, I definitely am not a fan of the snow and will do everything I can in the rest of my life to avoid running in it. <laughs> Fair enough. I think uh, when we met up in Hawaii, I guess that was two or three weeks ago now, so uh, you had the opportunity to run the Great Aloha Run. It's one of my favorite races. 27,000 people. You're the first female to cross the line. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your time in Hawaii and if it's a place that you'd love to go back to? Uh, Hawaii was amazing. Like, it was my weather, definitely. The humidity and heat, that's kind of where I feel at home. Um, it was a quick trip because my flights kind of got a little bit sketchy getting out there, but it was amazing. The race was amazing. The 
just I, I think I mentioned when I was being interviewed after, it was just the lines of people on the sides of the roads. And then you even mentioned that there was less people there. It was either you or David that mentioned there was less people there than should have been. And I couldn't believe that, that I guess two buses missed the pickups of students. So mm. we had fewer cheers out there than we were supposed to. But I would definitely go back to Hawaii. I actually, when I was studying through part of my bar last week, um, I was looking up what scores you have to get to practice in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. So you mentioned the bar, you're, you're uh, in law school, you're, what, like a few months away from finishing, is that right? Yeah, I graduate this May, so wow. finally, it'll be nine years mm -hmm. since I graduated high school, and I've been in school every single one of them, so um, I'm pretty much ready to be done and not yeah. have to crack a school book for a while. Yeah, I, I bet. Um, a few other questions, and uh, we'll let you go, but... Um, your next race is the Around the Bay in Hamilton? That's my next right? big one. I'm going to okay. do a 5K next weekend, um, the Irish Jig. I think that's in Grand Rapids. But, oh, okay. Um, they split it. The men start first, and when they finish, they start the women's race. So it's, it's cool because I like those races where it's like head-to-head -head women racing. Yeah. Um, I ran it last year on an injury and ran horribly and kind of underestimated the number of elite women that are in Michigan and the surrounding yeah. area. So this year I'm hoping to do it better and be a lot more prepared for yeah. it. And then the big gear up is around the bay. Cool. And then from there, I know you got the uh, marathon debut in Ottawa May 29th. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to first do the half marathon championships in Montreal in April. Cool. And then my first marathon, yeah, will be um, in Ottawa at the end of May. So. I'm starting to build up my mileage and try and maintain the streak of injury-free training that I've got going right now. And I'm so yeah. it'll be interesting to see how I can up my mileage and train for it, but stay healthy and have fun with it still, too. Cool. Um, before we let you go, we'd like to have a little bit of fun around here at Runner's Feet. So <laughs> we're thinking of doing a word association. So, right. um, and this might be the part where uncut turns into cut maybe 10 times. But uh, <laughs> let's give it a go, and uh, we'll just have fun with it. Is that cool? Yeah, no problem. All right, so we'll go with three words. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, running. Pain. All right. It's kind of a good one. I mean, for you, I mean, when you associate it with pain, it's, um, it's you know, you've, yeah. you've won, like, numerous races over the past few months, and you think of pain. That's very uh, Lenny Marchand-like, I suppose, so... Well, um, there's a lot of injuries there, but then there's just also there's those runs where your legs just hurt, and you're out, you love it, but there's there's that pain that you associate with it that I I've grown to love anyways. I don't I always say I'm looking forward for that day where it's pain free running, but I don't think it'll ever come, and I kind of like yeah. that about it. Okay, next one, cheese, pepper jack, <laughs> uh, and um, length. Length? Oh, geez. I don't even have anything. I was going <laughs> to say short. <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks for being a good sport, Lanny. And uh, thanks for being our first interview at Runners Feed Uncut. And I uh, look forward to keeping an eye on you at, uh, around the bay and in Ottawa and, uh, and in the future. So thanks again. Yeah. No problem. All right.